Hey, 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 Stevie boy. You're gonna love, you're gonna love this boat, Bat. I'll turn that down a little bit. You're gonna love this boat. It did everything I said. Doing everything I said it would do. I always get interrupted every time I uh, do this. Anyway, 2500, 2021 North River, uh, Sea Hawk offshore. Got the, we went through all the outside. I set up, this just got done with this. It took me about six hours. Got your autopilot set perfect. Uh, GPS, your sonar, all that stuff is just right on the money. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, and you got your compasses on the money and that's lighted too. And if I say on the money again, you can shoot me, okay? Foot rest, we went through all that, horn works good. Now we're gonna turn on nav, anchor lights, courtesy lights. Are those right there? Oh my, my, my. And we're gonna turn on this light here. You got your red, or you got your dee -dee 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 white. Oh, you got your floodlights. If you look at the rail, see, that's working. Uh, radio working, of course, you can hit this one right here, and that gets into the weather. And then you just hit exit, you can hit scan and all. There you go, that's pretty simple. Uh, deck light, I'll turn that on. Uh, bilge pump. That works, port works, starboard works. Uh, spare, we don't worry about that right now. You got a USB right there, 12 volt there. I mean, nicely set up. Plenty of power too, about, um, how, what was that, 40, 45, 46 miles an hour. One motor will do 33. And you can run your autopilot off the kicker. I'll show you all that. And I think I showed you that. There's your fish box, your door. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn on the deck for so you got lights like up, up into there which is cool on both sides then I'm going to go ahead and hit your evac pump knee none of that courtesy lights that was those there you can shut them off back here too wars down hit that go over here I fixed that it was leaking a little bit Oh, I had it on the whole time. Ha, ah, imagine that. Huh? Hit the horse down, so that means it works because it didn't go dirt, dirt, dirt. And you got a shutoff valve right there. Uh, let me see. Whoa, get back. Whew, boy, oh boy, how did does that have some power? So we're going to shut that off there. You can steer back here. Nav light, antenna, anchor light, all that works. So I can shut all this stuff off. I go off, 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 off. Okay, let's start with the kicker motor. We showed you that, that your battery's back there. So just, when it's cold, you're gonna have to pump this like a car like three times to bring it back until you hear it click. Drop that down. And then, like I say on this, you lift this lever until you give it a little bit of tension. Push and hold on to keep it. I've already started this. And you ain't gonna believe it, but it's running. See there, we steer from here. Oh, it's gonna get stormy. See, we can steer from here on that kicker. Or if I want to go up here, and someday you can get a handheld wireless remote for your autopilot. See how it can steer. Now, say I want autopilot, I don't want to use my main. Now, what the heck? Don't tell me. Huh. What caused that? I wonder. And let's see. Oh, that's why. Oh, it must have been cold. Huh. Oh, that figures. Ha! Every time you try to show somebody something. Uh, check it out. There we go. Now we'll try it. Safety lanyard's on. See? There we go. Now we got it. Just needed to pump that primer bulb a little bit. So 
So anyway, back up to this. See, it never fails, huh, Steve? Now, say I'm gonna use my autopilot. You, what's the deal? Everything was running great. I'm gonna have to go to part two, I think. Unless that motor just, just cold. It just wants to keep dying, huh? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, okay, we're just pumping these bulbs. Bulbs back up. Uh, there we go. Why that bled off, I'll we'll never know. Now I'm going to stay back here for a second and see if that does that again. Because that ran fine earlier. That makes me mad. Okay, now if not, I'm going to start this and bypass that for a second. So anyway, I'm going to try this again. Unless there's a pinched fuel line back there. Okay, now we're running right now at 1.83. Okay, now, say I want to run autopilot with that kicker. I just engage it. I'm gonna hold that course. And then I'll go home. And then I'll just go to charts. Nav uh, radar overlay. There you go, got this set. Sp I mean spot on. The best autopilot. And this little kicker's holding this. See how it's running now? And these are all my track lines. And I got all your course over ground, your headings to match 169, 169. This will get to there because it's going to take a while for that kicker motor to get us back on course. Give it a little gas. Yeah, see 170, 188. 187 it's dropping 186 so that should be matching these numbers pretty quick 184 it's dropping so good and that's the kicker motor so you can do that you can steer it back here and this is also got what they call that shadow drive so actually if you want to run it like switch like right now I can run this one on autopilot and it will hold this course it's going to bring us back but now say I want to fire up the mains. This has got the new command link gauge. Make sure these are in neutral. This will come on. And as soon as those things fire up, I'll just put these in gear. It's holding, it's holding pretty good. Actually 182, 180. So it's just bringing it down. Those are running. So then I'm gonna speed these up a little bit. You don't want to go too fast about 1200 then what you can do is take this get this back shut that off now we're running autopilot on the main right here see how it's holding this course is dropping down to 174 already I'm gonna get it up to about 17 and then I'm gonna stop then I'm gonna go ahead and engage it. 176, 170, 170. I can live with that. 170, 170. Not bad. And your guy's going straight. That's the main thing. And I got your radar overlay on top of that. And then if I speed it up, of course, Try to keep your AIS, that means you got that ship ahead of you, right here, just push this and it bypasses it. Or you can shut that off, you want to zoom in on that, just take the, these garments are awesome. And then we're 26, you want to keep your RPMs about the same, trim tabs, you want to keep the boat balanced, we're doing 13, 8, see that 170, 174, 175, 176, so that's pretty good going against this. So I will take that. 
I had it within two degrees. It depends on the current too and the wind. But anyway, so now we got autopilot there. So now I'm gonna stop this and go to part two.